I don't know how many people would be open to the idea. I personally am just a bit nervous about having internet on my... Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my reaction video to all the announcement that was made at Meta Connect 2023 that happened a couple of days ago. For people who don't know, Meta Connect is the biggest meta which is the company that owns Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. It's their biggest conference and they had a lot of announcements. And this is gonna be my lens. I'm a working professional in IT. I've been in cybersecurity for over 13 years. So I'm gonna put two hats when I watch this keynote as you see my reaction for the use cases from a business perspective. If you are working professionally, you probably see this as well, but also the lens of someone who's a consumer of these products and whether, what I feel about my uh, day-to-day -day use cases because some of the things that were announced as a person who enjoys gaming and PS5 and all of that, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what the announcements are like. All right, let's do this. Woo! I love this. I must say the excitement was really high, so I will definitely take that. Uh, I did not expect that kind of a welcome for a meta conference, but I'm super excited what he has to talk about. We have a lot of exciting stuff that we're gonna talk about today. We have, uh, we have Quest 3 and some other new hardware that I'm excited to show you. And we have a whole lot of new AI experiences. So we've been in the lab for a while and I'm Ooh, really looking yes. forward to it to showing you what we've been building. That's pretty much what I'm here for. I wanna know what they're doing from an AI perspective, uh, the enterprise use cases for how businesses would use it. And also, I'm just curious about Quest 3. By the way, just want a side note, uh, this has 3.6 million views so far. So that's how many people were interested in knowing more about MetaQuest 3 or maybe Facebook is that popular. Oh, quickly, just wanna also add that I love how he has addressed what he's gonna cover pretty much straight away, which is pretty awesome because if you you think about uh, a lot of people kind of you know go oh like, well, welcome to this world like if you go to apple keynote they talk about things like this is what we've done last year this is what's happened he just went straight for it this is keynote this is the first presentation of the day so he's not wasting time so i, I love that in this video so pretty awesome keep going keep, go, keep going mark i'm saying mark as if he's my friend but i'm sure he'll be my friend one day we are incredibly proud to introduce quest 3 the first mainstream mixed reality headset <laughs> It's the most powerful headset that we have ever shipped, and it allows you to blend the physical and digital worlds together. Oh, this is exciting because I don't know if you guys have seen Quest 2, but that itself was pretty awesome. And from what I can see visually, it looks like it doesn't have like a backpack or any of that thing. So I have been exploring virtual reality games. Uh, so in London, we have something called virtual reality uh, escape rooms. If you haven't tried that, definitely recommend it. You basically wear it. We are said, which is essentially a quest, but now they're gonna get even better. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. Let's, let's, uh, I'm keen to know more. Just your hands if you want, and the hand tracking is getting really good. Um, or with these brand new precision controllers that we've designed for games or work or things that you, where you want some extra precision. And you know, of course, it's completely standalone. No wires, no battery pack, you know, nothing like that that's gonna break your, your sense of presence. So w when you put on Quest 3, uh, you see the physical room around you. Only now it is a canvas that you can bring your digital objects into the world. You know, Quest 3, it, it, it understands your space so you can play with the world around you. You can solve Lego puzzles or you can build your own creations on any flat surface in your room. No. Okay, I don't know if you guys realize this, but I'm already thinking that people who enjoy having multiple desktop in front of their eyes when they're working on a project or in front of computers in offices, this could be, imagine wearing one of these MetaQuest 3 and you're able to kind of see the entire desktop and on the wall in front of you and not have to worry about, like I'm already going in that direction. If someone out there wants to make an augmented reality version of desktop, that can be, that would be super awesome. But I can already see the potential over here. You can play games like BAM with your friends sitting around a table, whether you're physically right there together or even if they're far away. Wow. You know, people love working out in Quest, but now if you're doing a body combat workout, the targets are gonna come at you in your physical room, whether you're in your living room or if you're, you're, uh, you're in your home gym, you're able to look around and see the room around you, so you're gonna be a lot more comfortable 
you know, swing your arms and moving your body. Great idea. I, I'm already thinking Dance Dance Revolution for people who don't know that game. Pretty awesome Dance Dance Revolution. I can already see that the steps are coming in towards you. Or all the games where you're chopping off uh, fruits. I am recently joined CrossFit, so I think this is pretty awesome from that perspective. But I don't know if it's going to give me the fitness that I need, but I can see the idea. Yeah, it will definitely work. Limits of your physical space are going to be able to expand. Now, one thing that I'm, I'm pretty excited to share today is that X Cl uh, Xbox Cloud Gaming. By the way, I don't even if you realize Mark just slipped a little, but I love the fact that how he, it is not a script he's going off. He just wants to really share this. The context being for people who have watched Apple keynotes, there is never a single missed word or something similar. There's just so much care put into all of those events. But I kind of like this. I kind of like the raw version of Mark over here where he kind of slipped a little. I don't really mind it. I think it was pretty good. So uh, good, on you, good on you, Mark, for actually being authentic on the stage rather than sound like a robot. So good job. And next year, uh, we're launching something that we call Augments, which are basically persistent, spatially anchored digital objects that you can interact with. So, you know, you can put a frame on your wall with photos and videos from Facebook and Instagram. I'm already thinking I'm not having any picture frame, which is going to be expensive or just need, I need to find a space to hang all these pictures that I have, or maybe even like some of the decor that I would like to have in my house. I like to change sometimes every single day, maybe not every single day, but every week, every month. So I can already see this would be amazing when you wear the MetaQuest 3, you're able to kind of see your house decorated in different ways. So that's pretty cool, man. That is really awesome for that Meta Augment announcement. That looks super cool. Um, you could put a digital portal next to your physical workout gear. So every time you walk by it, you can easily jump into a supernatural workout. It is the most powerful headset yet with the next generation processor, better displays and optics, it's 40% thinner, a lot more comfortable, and it comes with the great new precision controllers or the awesome hand tracking that has just gotten a lot better. You know, end to end, we have designed this thing and optimized it, the hardware stack, the software stack, so it can deliver amazing mixed reality and the world's best immersive content library. So there it is, Quest 3, it is shipping on August 10th. You can order it today for $499. Whoa, $499. That's actually already cheaper than the Vision Pro that Apple has. Oh, I, I see. I think they're trying to compete with the Apple Vision Pro. And in a way, by the way, you can see a lot of similarity in the way this has been geared. Uh, so this is all officially Apple and Facebook going on war with the augmented reality piece. This is pretty cool to see. We are building a platform for creating AIs that can help you get things done or just have fun. You know, the way this is gonna work is there, people are gonna be able to interact with these AIs across the whole meta universe of products. So, you know, of course you'll be able to chat with them in WhatsApp and Messenger and Instagram Direct, but beyond that, they're gonna have profiles in Instagram and Facebook and you'll be able to interact with them and eventually they're gonna be embodied as avatars and live and be able to interact with them in the metaverse too. And we're gonna open this platform up for developers and more use cases soon. I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, what all of you build. But even before that, um, we have been creating a bunch of AIs ourselves and we're gonna start rolling these out in beta today and, and ramping that a bit over the next couple of days. All right, first up, we got Meta AI. I love how there was no clue. <laughs> There was a clap before. I wonder if it was the Facebook employees who were clapping. It took it took a couple of seconds for people like Meta AI. And in, in my mind, I'm expecting people to go, whoa, it's amazing, clap. But it's just dead silence. So good on Mark for continuing. Meta AI is it's your, your basic assistant, right? That you can that you can talk to like a person. Right? You can you can message Meta AI and any of the messaging apps, WhatsApp, Messenger, Instagram, Direct. Um, soon you're gonna be able to message it and Quest 3, and it's gonna help you, you know, answer you know, your basic questions or requests. Let's check this out. So let's say you're, you're planning dinner. Um, you got Max the sous chef, um, who can help you come up with a recipe. Oh wait, they have people who are actual real people as the chat boards. They have Israel Adesanya as well as the MMA expert. I have some MMA questions that I would like to ask Israel. So I can already see a use case that I'm going to use this, at least in my personal life. I don't know about work life, but I can definitely see this. I'm using this in my personal life to either order food, plan my travel, or become an MMA expert. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they actually all 
were told that they are using their face because it's not their actual names, but their images being used. So yeah, that'll be interesting. And uh, help you come up with ideas. You know, so if you want to find a way to sneak some broccoli into your kid's dinner, Max has got you. You know, let's say you add too much salt to the recipe, you can help you balance it out. I see it. I, d I definitely see the value in this as well. Cool, meta AI, uh, but more from a chatbot version. So they're trying to compete with Chad GPT. So this is their answer to Chad GPT and Google Bard, uh, meta AI. Cool, uh, good to know. Let's say you want to play a role playing game. Well, now you can just drop the, the dungeon master into one of your chats and uh, let's check this guy out. Let's get mini play. Whoa, I would say I don't play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons, but the fact that you can get to play Dungeons and Dragons with Snoop Dogg, pfft, that is so cool. That is super cool. Who hasn't wanted to play a text, you know, adventure game with Snoop Dogg? Yes. Um, we've, we're also very focused on, um, on giving all of you the ability to build AIs too. So we've been creating something that we call AI Studio. Oh. It is a platform for building these kind of AIs. And we're starting by opening up the API for integrating into our messaging apps to start. And that's gonna open in the coming weeks. We are also building a sandbox so that you know, people who don't code can also train AIs like this. And we're working on that and iterating on it. And we hope to have that out sometime early next year. And we're also working on bringing all of this to the metaverse too. Wait, metaverse still exists? I thought no one wanted to go into metaverse, but maybe it does. But one more thing I want to note at that point in time, as someone who works in an organization, they're opening up the AI studio next year for people who would be able to train AI without knowing how to code. That is the capability that ChatGPT has provided at the moment uh, to a lot of companies. A lot of people are building something called the LLM. I can make a whole video about all of that, but this is super interesting that they're actually going down the very similar path as well. And they're giving them the timeline of one year, but I don't know if they know this, but AI is moving super fast and chat GPT and others are already ahead of this uh, from them. So it'll be really interesting how quickly can they catch up. The last thing that I want to show you today, which is the next generation of Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses. Now these are designed um, so you can stay in the moment and stay connected without having to take your phone out. You can capture what's going on around you. You can share with your friends. Um, in the world. Everything about this is upgraded from the first version. Cameras are a lot better, so the images and videos that you capture are a lot clearer. The audio is a lot better, so when you're listening to music or podcasts or taking calls, that's a lot better. Um, they're lighter, they're more comfortable, and there are a lot more styles too. But the most interesting thing about this isn't any of those specs. It's that these are the first smart glasses that are built and shipping with Meta AI in them. Woo! Okay, I know Ray-Ban did this collaboration with them last year, but it was to an extent of take, taking pictures and cameras and all of that and didn't have a lot of styles. And I was almost always conscious whenever I would have a friend wear a Ray-Ban in front of me, whether it had a camera or not. In this one, it looks, it's even more obvious, but the fact it comes with AI, I mean, I'm thinking in my mind, it's like Iron Man. Uh, let, let's see how, how much of the AI is actually there. So starting in the US, you're gonna get this state-of-the-art AI that you can interact with hands-free wherever you go. So, you know, let's say you're grilling with your family and you wanna know how long you need to be cooking that chicken for. That is a question I always ask my, uh, whenever I'm trying to do a grill. So this is something that's gonna be helpful for me for sure. You know, or you're playing pickleball and... Okay, can I say, I don't know why pickleball is a sport and why it got popular, but Sure, I'll, I'll take it. The line and you want to know if that's a fault. She disagrees, but you know the truth. Or let's say you just want to settle a debate, you know, some trivia as you're going out through the world. Just ask your meta, your Ray-Ban meta glasses and they'll respond and, and, and get you with the answer. I don't know how many friends you'll make by being the know-it-all person who walks around with a meta AI and has an answer to everything you ask for. Although it would be obviously very weird as well when someone would ask you, hey, who's the 10th president of United States of America? And you may not know the answer. Hey, meta AI, tell me the answer for the 10th president of the United States. I don't know how many people would be open to the idea. Uh, I personally am just a bit nervous about having internet 
on my Ray-Bans. Maybe this is one of those announcements that I'm a bit sus about so far, but maybe once it kind of comes into reality and maybe I start using it, I might love it. But let me know if you want me to buy the Ray-Ban and give it a shot and give it a whole uh, cybersecurity perspective. You are going to be able to live stream to your friends and followers from your glasses. These Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses we're launching them on October 17th. I'm starting at $2.99, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you all think of them. As always, it is an honor to be on this journey building this with you. Thank you all for coming out to connect. And now I'm gonna hand it over to our Chief Technology Officer, Boz. Thank you. Ooh. Okay, so so far reaction, this has been good. I love the announcements on the MetaQuest 3, the AI chatbots augmented, and the Dungeon Master thing is pretty cool to include celebrities in there. I think that's definitely one way to pull a lot of people into the environment. So that's good. I think Ray-Ban was probably the only one that I was a bit iffy about. I'm not sure if I'll use that myself or when I see a friend of mine who is carrying Ray-Ban glasses and I'll be comfortable for them. I don't know how interactive it is. If the person on the other end would know that you're being recorded, hopefully no one's trying to make a fool of me and doing a live stream on Cloud Security Podcast or any other channel. But you know, that's kind of where I think I feel the iffy part, but I definitely also see the advantage of it. Like, I think I can definitely see how this could be pretty cool for imagine people in enterprise who do their uh, off-sites. Uh, this would be pretty cool to capture some of those moments live and start thinking of having a camera. Every person, every employee who's given a Ray-Ban could be the person who'd be capturing the event for you. So I think it's pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to what this could mean. Actually, thank you, Martin. I think it'll be a great idea to cover an event using Ray-Ban and uh, how much of it can be covered using this. So. That'd be pretty cool. Also, I wanted to call out, I know the focus was primarily on the keynote from Mark Zuckerberg, but there were a couple of other components, which if you are someone who runs a company, would probably find this valuable. They also talk, spoke about something called Meta Sparks, which is an augmented reality platform that you can use and create your own augmented reality. And the fact that MetaQuest 3 could actually use anything that's in your surrounding, including the fact that if you have a pretend ball in your hand, if you throw it, it would bounce off the wall if there's a ball, an actual wall in front of you. So those kind of features are pretty awesome. So you get to use something called Metasparks to create a lot of that as well. I also wanted to call out two use cases that were called out. There were a couple of enterprise companies. There's a company called Geo, which is a subsidiary of a big telecom company in India, the largest one called Reliance. And they spoke about how they're using the Geo AI called the Geo Copilot, which is built on Alama 3, which is the AI version from Facebook. So that was pretty awesome to see that. Then there was another use case, which is presented by Shopify. Shopify has something called Shopify Sidekick, which is using Llama 3 in the background as well, where they are able to give a better experience to the people on their platform. So those were some of the interesting use cases. I think overall, I felt the event was really good, but this also feels like there's a AI war coming between Facebook, Google, and Microsoft. So this is gonna be really interesting to see how this all plans out. Uh, let me know if there was anything that I missed in the announcement that you think I should have covered. If you're excited about anything in particular, I would love to hear that as well. Would you still buy the expensive Apple Vision Pro or would you go for MetaQuest 3? Leave the answer in the comment and I will see you in the next reaction video on this channel and if you enjoy reaction videos like this from an experienced professional definitely uh, let me know and feel free to hit the subscribe and follow i will see you in the next video enjoy peace